Mark Marvin, one of the leading developers in downtown Warren, has informed council and the administration that he will not engage in any further development in the city. Marvin says it's because of council and the administration's failing to address the blight and what he calls ongoing problems. No further development is our top story tonight at 10. Mark Marvin's three-page letter was dated November 17th. It starts with a list from the travel website Horizon Times, listing Warren as the 37th most miserable place to live, after which Marvin states his company, Downtown Development Group, will not engage in any further development inside the city of Warren, but will maintain its current properties. We're on schedule with this building. Four years ago, Marvin showed me what he now says was $45 million worth of development in downtown Warren, including the Robbins Theater, an apartment building, and what would become Charbonnet's Winery. Marvin was critical of the Warren Redevelopment and Planning Corporation, stating having to deal with this entity would have driven normal company away from Warren. Marvin was also critical of the city allowing speculators to buy properties, inflating the purchase costs, and then allowing the properties to deteriorate. Marvin wants Dana Street reopened and was critical of the owner of the Dana Street buildings for allowing his properties to become blighted and negatively impacting surrounding properties. He was also critical of the owners of the Packard Apartments and the Reeves Apartments and the old Sears building for the appearance of their properties. Marvin wrote that he has also offered to help with renovating the Courthouse Square YMCA, but his offers have been largely ignored. Tried contacting Warren Mayor Doug Franklin about Marvin's letter, but have not heard back. When I asked Service Safety Director Eddie Colbert if having Marvin stop all future development concerns him, Colbert answered, of course it does. Christopher Allen, whose auto park company is on Dana Street, said, quote, We appreciate the small investment that Mark has made. We would hope that he would consider and look at a longer-term investment here. It's going to take more than a couple of years.